the city of Nha Trang, is the capital of the Vietnamese province of Con Hoa, and its main city. It has a port, good beaches and waves suitable for surfing. In addition, its bay is considered one of the most beautiful in Southeast Asia. It's a popular destination for international tourists, attracting large numbers of backpackers, as well as more affluent travelers on the Southeast Asia circuit. It is already very popular with Vietnamese tourists. Historically, the city was known as Kothara, under rule of the Kingdom of Champa. The city is still home to the famous Ponagar Tower, built by the Champa. Being a coastal city, Nha Trang is a center for marine science based at the Nha Trang Oceanography Institute. Built between the 7th and 12th centuries, these impressive Cham Towers are still actively used for worship by Cham, Chinese, and Vietnamese Buddhists. Originally the complex had 7 or 8 towers, but only 4 remain, of which the 28 meters high North Tower, with a terraced pyramidal roof, vaulted interior masonry and vestibule, is the most magnificent. The towers stand on a granite knoll, 3 kilometers north of central Nha Trang, on the northern bank of the Kai River. It's thought this site was first used for worship as early as the 2nd century AD, The original wooden structure was raised to the ground by attacking Javanese in AD 774, but was replaced by a stone and brick temple, the first of its kind in 784. The towers serve as the Holy See, honoring Yang Eno Po Nagar, the goddess of the Dua clan which ruled over the southern part of the Cham Kingdom. There are inscribed stone slabs scattered throughout the complex, most of which relate to history or religion, and provide insight into the spiritual life and social structure of the Cham. This Nya Trang Pagoda, was originally known as Danglong II, and was erected on another hill in 1886, in 1900, after a large cyclone, the temple was destroyed and had to be moved from the hill to its current location in 1936. Long Sun Pagoda, was renamed and has become the headquarters of the Buddhist Association of Khan Hoa Province, since 1936. It was renovated and expanded again in 1940, before being destroyed in 1968 during the Vietnam War. Until now, Long Sun Pagoda has been recognized as Vietnam's oldest temple, after hundreds of years with several repairs. From the Long Sun Pagoda, there is a large road leading up to Hai Duc Pagoda, 
along the crest of the hill, where there is a large white concrete statue of Buddha. The statue was built on the site of the original temple. Every feature of this pagoda, is designed in accordance with traditional Vietnamese and Taoist architecture, and artistic sculptures of mythological creatures. Because it can hold hundreds of Buddhists and pilgrims to pray, the main hall also functions as a monastery. Christianity in Vietnam was introduced in the 16th century by missionaries from Europe's main Catholic evangelist countries, France, Spain, and Portugal. The Catholic Church flourished under the colonialist patronage, opening missions, schools and hospitals all over the country. By the 1950s, with the communists governing in the north, over half a million Catholics crossed the demilitarized zone to settle in the south, then controlled by the Saigon regime. Those that remained in the north were allowed to continue to practice their faith, but under tight control. 